Hello, mabuhay. I am here at Mabalakat, the old terminal, and we are in front of the Jollibee food chain and the City Mall shopping mall. It's 3.30 in the morning, and we're going to avoid Santa Juliana, Capas, Tarlac. I also watch hot air balloon in Tarlac. We are now here in Santa Juliana, and we have this walking sticks for rent for 20 pesos we also ordered our breakfast to the organizer and it tastes yummy i am a solo joiner of tonyo or all stars travels you may ask him in his facebook account for your inquiries and before we are going to hike we're going to sign this waiver for some other paperwork such as the environmental fee he already did that for us and we have this over there the bag tag we did not climb on september 21st due to the typhoon and heavy rains the river is too deep for the 4x4 and for the hikers to walk on the rivers at the valley and now is october 5 2024 and we have a lovely weather antonio have a three vans joiner with that he divided the participants with four hikers in one four by four truck he organized the hike properly We are now entering the Philippine Air Force area where they have the camp and do the military exercises. Some settlers here are the Aitas or the Philippine native tribes of the Philippines. As you can see, they are trying to improve the place by building dikes for the safety of the community. There are already waters here at the entrance going towards the mountain. Let us enjoy the natural cold fresh air and welcome the sunrise. For the three vans, there are other passengers from different parts of Metro Manila who are already cooked by friends or by their work as joiners for today's hike my company are Jomari from Las Piñas and Audrey from Quezon City they are the same like me who are solo joiners you can also invite your foreign friends if they want to hike with you here in the Philippines for the Mount Pinatubo Antonio will file for the clearance 15 to 20 days of the foreign passport before the actual date of your hike or adventure. This area has lots of cows and carabaos. They are fat, healthy, and free to eat the grasses anywhere to like before coming to Mount Pinatubo I thought the place is like a barren place every now and then we have the streams along the way we have this grasses and trees at the mountains Every now and then, the surface have different textures. Before it was smooth, and now we have these rough and rocky areas. We are stopping here at the Toblerone Mountain, as they call it. Show the 
Looking at the background, the mountains looks like it's sliced in half. So for the meantime, the passengers or the hikers are here to have a pictorials. The river here is a bit deeper. Good to know that we have an expert driver. Tonyo helps a lot of people, the hikers, his teammates such as the driver and the tour guides for the mountain. And remembering the residents who cook our food for breakfast and lunch. According to our local tour guide, Kuyeri said that before you can only hike Mount Pinatubo for 20 minutes. And as the year goes by, due to the Philippine rainfalls for six months and typhoons, the entrance for the 4x4 cars are going farther away to the start of the trick of the Mount Pinatubo. It is so exciting! 4x4 truck holiday! We're now going to start our trek here after having a one hour ride with the 4x4 cars. We are now on our journey to the Mount Pinatubo and this is the lava from the volcanic eruption. As you can see it is made up of sands and rocks. Still there are flowing waters on the stream and some tour guides with the hikers. That is Kuya Eddie ahead of me and this walking stick is very helpful for our hike of today. Wear your comfortable clothes, shoes. You may also bring your umbrella, hat, your sunscreen and anything that will help you to protect your skin from the sunshine. For this part, we have these shades because of the high altitude of the mountain. Every now and then, the clearness of the water changes where it flows just like this one. It's like crystal and the one I'm stepping on is on a muddy river. It is nice that there are rivers to call off the heat. We have crossed the stream and now we are walking towards the boulders. And there are different colors of the rocks here. We have the brown and black and more walk to go. Aside from the rivers along the way, as you have seen the crosses, they are dancing with the winds. Walk according to your speed and you have a toy guide who will wait for you until you will finish to the top of the crater and going back to the 4x4 car. Maybe this is how the planet Mars look like with the rocks and suns. Look further for the beautiful view. They made a toilet for the hikers and you can have a rest here halfway to the Mount Pinatubo crater. We have a tiny waterfalls. We're about to go. This is so refreshing. 
scene and look at that wonderful nature that is the third place where we can have a rest hikers are behaved queuing up for the photo taking at the signage That is the fourth shed you can have a seat for a little while. After a few minutes, they build another shade for the hikers. And you can listen to the nature. Surprise! You have a snack at the middle of the mountain. Let's go! And there are several food stalls here at the mountain. You can really smell the barbecue at this area. I am wondering why there are more plants and trees near the base of Mount Pinatubo. This is good canopy for the plants such as better cord, sponge cord, and string beans. Hiking Mount Pinatubo is going to different dimensions from the planet Mars to the forest like this. These are fruits eaten by the birds. Looks like cascading waterfalls bringing back the memories from the hiking of the front waterfalls in Hong Kong. The water flows here is more relaxing. From this step, you are 10 minutes away to the Mount Pinatubo crater. We are very near now to the crater and we can hear the giggling of some hikers and it's fascinating that mango trees are planted here when it's third season the hikers could eat fresh fruit while staying under the shade and here is the quick history of the Mount Pinatubo for 400 years, the place is known as a mountain and not a volcano after it has erupted on June 15, 1991. The place is really fascinating, a beautiful disaster. The lake is like emerald or turquoise in color. Let us go down and I wanted to touch the water Thank you God for today's adventure here at the Mount Pinatubo Crater We have walked 5 kilometers and this is the magnificent view of the Mount Pinatubo it was two hours walking and look at this very tall mountains so this is the Mount Pinatubo that erupted and this is now the crater the colors of the water it's like green 
deep green and black. Or maybe the black is because of the shadow of the mountain. I also like the contrast of the white grasses. There are already a few hikers who went down there to touch the waters. This tour guide is cool. He is also a human drone. I am also happy that I have the chance to touch the water of the crater. It is cold even it's under the sunshine. Thank you to Tonyo from All Stars Travel, his team, to all the hikers and solo trainers like me who became my friends, Jomari and Audrey. Thank you again for this lovely day, wonderful weather. Sometimes in our life, we are like this Mount Pinatubo. We are encountering sadness, loneliness, sorrow, a mess. However, don't stay on the period of disaster. Accept everything, stand up, move on, and be the beautiful new you. The strong, resilient, and calm. Thank you God for another wonderful adventure. And many thanks to all who watches Naomi Vlogs.